10 Downing Street, also known as number 10, along with the adjoining cabinet office at 70 Whitehall, is the headquarters of the government of the United Kingdom and the official residence and office of the First Lord of the Treasury, a post which for much of the 18th and 19th centuries, and since 1905, has been held by the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. It's been the locale of British Prime Ministers since 1735, and Prime Ministers have officially lived here full-time since 1997. The famous black bricks of the house are actually yellow underneath. They were blackened by the London smog during the 19th century, and as a result were painted black during the 1960s, since people were accustomed to seeing them that way. <laughs> 10 Downing Street is named after Sir George Downing, who was a preacher, soldier, statesman, diplomat, spymaster, and politician whose allegiances notably changed during his career. He was greatly responsible for arranging the acquisition of New York from the Dutch. Interested in power and money, he saw an opportunity to make his fortune in property. Many of his contemporaries accused him of meanness and of being a miser. In 1654, he acquired land adjacent to St. James's Park, where he built a street of red brick terraced houses designed by Sir Christopher Wren, who also designed St. Paul's Cathedral. This later became Downing Street. The address was actually 5 Downing Street until 1779. Hello. Would you like my minister's uh, house? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Downing Ten is over there? Over there, yeah. yeah. And you ah. can go and see the. This is the closest you'll get. How long are you in the UK for? Uh, two weeks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Enjoy it. Excuse me, guys. Yes. Sorry. In the 20th century alone, the First and Second World Wars were directed from here, as were the key decisions about the end of the empire, the building of the British nuclear bomb, and the handling of economic crises from the Great Depression in 1929 to the Great Recession. Near 10 Downing Street on Whitehall is the Monument to the Women of World War II, which was sculpted by John W. Mills, unveiled by Queen Elizabeth II, and dedicated by Baroness Boothroyd in July 2005. The bronze monument stands 22 feet high, 16 feet long, and 6 feet wide. The lettering on the sides replicates the typeface used on wartime ration books. There are 17 individual sets of clothing and uniforms around the sides, symbolizing the hundreds of different jobs women undertook in World War II, and then gave back to the homecoming men at the end of the war. Also near 10 Downing Street on Whitehall in the other direction is a cenotaph, a war memorial. It was originally a temporary structure erected for a peace parade following the end of World War I, but after an outpouring of national sentiment, it was replaced in 1920 by a permanent structure and designated the United Kingdom's official National War Memorial. An annual service of remembrance is held at the site in Remembrance Sunday, the closest Sunday to November 11th, Armistice Day, each year. The memorial is now also used to remember the dead of later wars in which British servicemen and servicewomen have fought. <laughs> 